but we we took off late yesterday, and everybody's thinking they're going to do the same thing. So that's why I suggest you know it's not worth the last couple of ticks. We've got about 45 minutes to go, and the first thing you want to do is make sure you get paid for your efforts. And that's one of the reasons why I suggested <clears throat> don't worry about those last couple of ticks. We could still hit it even before the day is over, but we may have to suffer a drawdown. So why not be the first one out of dodge with your profits? That, that's uh, on top of yesterday's ramp. I just think that's common sense. We know the pattern is bullish. We know that we've basically <clears throat> destroyed all the shorts who thought that, you know, the other end. We were just going down, down, down. Now, don't be the last one out of Dodge. That, that's really the message that, you know, most traders cannot think opposite to what's going on in the market. We had a target of 69, actually 68 and a half. And we said, well, let's see, they're going to bump the stops. So the 69 and a half was a legitimate target, two ticks. So you're hanging around for two ticks or you suffer a drawdown of three points. I mean, that's just common sense. And everybody now that missed this move is trying to buy up here. Why? Those were smart traders say, here, you take the ball. See what you can do with it. Anyways, that's that was my thinking to get us out of Dodge ahead of time. And, you know, <clears throat> we said very, very specifically, timing-wise, we think we're at time and price. And it would be a good time for you to get out of there. So if you want to rebuy again today, that's up to you. But my assumption is that you've taken profits already. If not, then manage your trailer. And we need to take this uh, 66 out here, 65 and a half, to come back down and, and retest anything lower, <clears throat> such as our overnight uh, high at 63.75. And that's possible to test that before the day is over. Either way, this this is a business of fine lines. You know, it's, a, it's like baseball, game of inches. Right here, we said, hey, we don't know what's going to take that out or not, but look like a reasonable buy. Well, that's a lot better buy down here than it is buying up here. That's all I know. That's just common sense. Coming into the end of the day, don't be the last one out of Dodge. Got a trailer and you want to keep your trailer on to see if there's anything left, up to you. But primary targets have been hit for today. Not for the week, but for today. Get a little, <clears throat> some of this out of here. My high breakout was right back here. Anyways, good day. And the most important thing on a trend day is you don't ever have to go against it. If, if, if you like the long side and you're into it, you can always take your profits and then rebuy it. Here's a good example of that. You could take all your profits here. What comes back in, do it again. If you're a position trader, guess what? You're going to be buying right in here. So the megaphone pattern that we talked about was a good one, and that worked worked very well today. We're ahead of ourselves on the 60. Sixty chart here, beautiful chart. Fifteen okay. That's the megaphone pattern. Here's a thirty. Well, shows a little profit taking. Break out back here. Let's put another line right here so we remember that next day or two. It's an important zone, obviously.
And I think we can safely say that <clears throat> the boys have done a number on um, all of the shorts who felt that the market had already made its high for the year. And a reminder, we said that we don't know how high we can get. That one day we will go above these highs and then we'll come back through it and keep on going. That's not been done yet. This is a double top. Everybody thinks a double top has to be exact to the tick. It does not. And the bigger the pivot and the bigger the zone, the more they can fluff it. Five points, two points, one point. Smaller denominations, I like plus or minus. Larger denominations, you can go five or ten points even. So we said we would most likely get above that this year, and then how much higher is the key? There's your 15. And it really is about risk and reward, you know? I mean, like I said, guy that wants that last two ticks. Boys are masters at pushing our buttons. So I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, webinar we did today and reviewing our system and the improvements we are making to it. And certainly uh, has been very accurate lately. And right about now is when the traders who were hoping for those last <clears throat> ticks or two that can't believe they've already come back a little bit and are underwater. Game of inches. And we are going into the <clears throat> last hour at this point. And anybody that is taking the liberty of using the double top to short, a reminder, when we play against the trend, trailers never let a winning trade turn into a loser. And get paid for your risk. Get paid something. <clears throat> 